morning. Good to see you. Well, good morning. How are you? I'm well. How are you doing? Yes, I'm well. Nice. Uh, it's a delight to always watch you. Uh, why are you in white today? Uh, well, it's no reason, no particular reason. Oh, okay. yeah. Why are you wearing what you're wearing? Oh, Ghana month. <laughs> okay. You're in white. So I get that. I thought maybe you were doing some outdooring or something. Ignore it. <laughs> I might be mischievous. Yes, you've been. That's, that's how you always. <laughs> I, been, always I, 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 I do hope you had a good weekend. I did. I did. Mm. It was, it was a lot of commentary okay. on the way the NDC members of parliament voted. I know, you look right? At, they, they, you, you look they at always the want to be in the news. You look at the permutations, and even if the main patrons of the mm -hmm. National Lottery Authority <laughs> want to do permit of the numbers, cry. <laughs> It's, it's, it's a tough one for the NDC to take, and good they want yeah, to be like investigate I, I, what yeah, went on. Yeah. But and then we, we saw uh, the members of parliament who were also voting and you know, recording the elections. Yeah. It defeats the purpose of a secret ballot. No. If we do that in parliament, then, no. you know. It's... No, but, but, but Crosby, that's mm. one thing. Those who were recording mm -hmm. definitely knew that their ranks were broken. Yes. Yeah. Well, the so of they needed are, to make a statement so that nobody blames them. The and I think they are very... The key suspects they're... were those who really wanted to record. When we spoke with uh, Mutala Mohammed, so he mentioned that if he had not recorded his vote... Nobody would have believed him. Yes. Yeah, he, because he was... Thought... I think he was... If we we're talking about what, the first five names mm -hmm. who were said to be those who instigated all this, he was among the first five names. Yes. And it's good that uh, he did the recording. Well, but well, for them to do the recording exactly. also means that um, because they knew that their ranks were broken, I think that they should have at least informed their party leadership, not necessarily in the house, but outside mm -hmm. the house. And um, well, well the, the, the party leadership, I understand, were aware that their ranks had been broken. So uh, the NPP minority in parliament told the NDC leadership that this is what we know, that mm, we have some of your members uh -huh. in our camp already. But Allah, uh, to a certain Allah. extent, sometimes it begins to look like a mental game, a psychological game. Yeah, so I know. You never know whether I they know. actually do have them or it's just for you to be careful when I you know. ask I for the know. things you want to ask for. It's, it's quite an interesting scenario. We'll yeah. see how it plays out. Um, it's, it, it's been dominating the news since Saturday. Mm -hmm. And today is Monday. Three days later, it still won't go away. <laughs> That's the NBC. Today, <laughs> it's going to be dissected, ingested, yeah. whatever um, adjectives we want to use. Wish you the best for the day. Thank you, Roland. All the best to you, too. No, great, great. Bella, love your hair. Thank you, thank you yeah. so much. When, when do you do this one? Saturday or yesterday? Um, yesterday. Okay, great. Yesterday. Great. How are you That's, doing? I'm well, I'm well, I'm well. Yeah. I'm well. Just mm. fascinating watching uh, all that panning out on Friday. It was on Friday, right? Yes, it was. Yeah, it was yeah. on Friday. Yeah. I mean, I remember Cookie had said that she she knows for sure that they'll pass these ministers. Mm. And I'm not surprised that it happened because I even said that I'm hoping that maybe because of the change in leadership, because I mean, we're not kids. We all understand um, some of the things that happened in Parliament and why um, they had wanted to change leadership. But what does this say about the new leaders as well? Is it then um, a fact that they cannot necessarily keep their... MPs in whip, if I could use that term, uh, because that was the whole idea of changing some it's of the It's actually a good term. Yeah, so I, I, I'm not surprised that this happened. But again, coming back to the issue of Ghanaians opening their eyes to the reality on the ground and realizing that, in actual fact, a lot of these people are only in there for themselves and not for us as a country. And the earlier we realize this, the better, because then we'll be very vigilant in choosing our leaders and ensuring that we demand accountability at every point. I know that NDC, the leaders are saying that they're going to find the traitors. Yesterday I saw that Mr. Fifi Kweti was listing a number of people who actually voted um, and, and supported the cause. He says, and I'll mention a few of them. I actually saw that on his Twitter. He says, proud of you, Honorable Betty Nana, Ifwa Crosby Mensa, uh, for not betraying the cause. Machine. I know, he kept mentioning quite a number. And I was for like, not betraying the cause. I mean, anymore. there are 136 of you at the moment in Parliament. So are you going to be able to list every single one of them? And does it mean that for those whose names will not be seen um, in your list, they may be the ones who may have voted against the costs? In court. I mean, they say they'll, they'll investigate, right? We're waiting to see how yeah, that goes. Yeah, certainly. Mm, we're waiting. Well, but it's I quite interesting to see. Yeah. So I had yeah. some. Thank you, Yusuf Suleimana, MP for <laughs> for Bali.
Hey. Uh, good morning to you, uh, General Fifi Quete. Fiavi Quete. <laughs> I, I, I gave him a message yesterday. I said I wanted to have an interaction with him. Oh, uh, yeah. We wanted to have an interaction yeah, yeah, yeah. with him on the show. Uh, he read the message all right. He never replied. Oh. But, but, but I think that it will be a very difficult situation for any party leader at all, hmm. especially um, when you know that if you look at what the public sentiments have been over the, over the last, I have to say, six months, yeah. particularly from September 2022, mm. when we had the economy or the currency tumbling against yeah. the US dollar and the other major international currencies, mm -hmm. the sum of public opinion, whether it was a public opinion of a population of uh, made up voters of MPP on NDC, yeah that the government had gotten something wrong. Yeah. Because um, three months prior to September, we'd had a finance minister publicly go around after a failed implementation of the e-levy mm -hmm. that he wouldn't lead the government of Nanado Danko Kufado to the IMF. Mm -hmm. So the communication was, what then should be the position that needs to be taken? Remember by April, the former president, John Ramani Mahama, had advised government, even way earlier, that you needed to go to the IMF. You know, in 2021, there was available the, the debt suspension initiative. Mm -hmm. If you take it, you're free. Yeah, At least yeah. you have some space as an economy to be able to borrow. And they decided that, look, they would not go. So the public sentiment was that the politicians who are representing the voters in parliament needed to reflect what the voters seem to be saying. Mm. Both sides said the finance minister needed to go. Yeah. Both sides said the government was not performing well. The MPP blames their finance minister. The NDC blames the finance minister. Mm. So the economy was not in a good state. So the finance minister read a, bu a budget and the conclusion was that government needed to reduce its expenditure. If you need to reduce your expenditure, just for the aesthetics, you have to reduce the number of ministers. Mm. And as a result of that, the onus was on the members of parliament, particularly the minority, even if they would pass these ministers, to show to the Ghanaian public that all the rhetoric about why government needed to reduce its expenditure and so not appoint more ministers, yeah. need, needed to be shown in the votes. Mm. And they woefully failed. Over and, and over and over. Over and over. Over, over they, and over. They haven't stopped failing. And I, I don't think they have, they have any sort of excuse or responsibility hmm. to explain to Ghanaians, the members of parliament, the minority side, to come and make overtures and to uh, postulate to government that Nanado Danko Kufado, our president, please reduce the size of government. Yeah. Now they have no point to stand on. Nothing. And I think that when they come and they are communicating that way, we need those members of parliament who did those votes to come and do the communication. They shouldn't leave it to Edu Jitamakulu and the rest who will be coming this morning to do that. Hmm. You are right, but will they actually come out? The, the, the they actually because come already yeah. we're, 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 we're calling them and they are, not, they are, going to, they, they, they are running away from of communicating. Of course. That the okay. best means of political communication is for you to make sure that you tell the people what happened. Mm -hmm. And I think that I have to say kudos to Rickard Hagen. Yeah. He was very yeah. forthright. Yeah, he was. But the he rest was. I But don't beyond know. him... And I mean, of course, he did say that it was based on greed um, and a number of other things. I've heard other MPs say that, no doubt, of course, some of them took bribes. Well. But that is the worry. I've heard other quarters say that, well, the NDC should not be upset because when they needed the NPP to also toe their line just to get the Speaker of Parliament to come from, um, you know, their side, that happened. So then what really is the problem? Should mm. we take a look at a video? No, um, the slides. Okay. Apparently, you're well, supposed to do the interpretation of the slides. Okay. So let's see how it goes. Okay. All right, so Parliament has approved um, the ministerial nominees. You remember that there were some of them who had to step down um, to announce their bid for presidency, and so there was a need to replace them. And, of course, we know that the chief tenancy uh, minister for a long time also hasn't been too well. Um, apparently he so was there. Apparently. 
apparently mm. in a wheelchair. Shocking. But anyway, <laughs> uh, but he, but he's no more minister from clearly from how things are going. Uh, well, he he's abdic abdicated or his, recused his himself from office. Okay, yeah. so um, total. We can eligible, say the throne in quotes. I know, right? <laughs> so the total voters in Parliament two hundred and seventy-five, but there were some three MPs that were absent: two from the MPP and one from the NDC. And so Sarah Juasafo, not surprising that she wasn't in Parliament. I mean, when it came to E Levy, she was visibly missing from um, some of the votes as well. So the MP for Dom Kwabenya. Then also Philip Atabeswa, uh, the MP for Kumewu, was also mm. not well. What told that he's not well? He's not well. Okay. And then James Jashi Kwesin, we all know the embattled MP and his issues with dual personal, well, um, citizenship and the challenge that has come with it. So James Jachi Kwesin, MP for Asin North, was also absent from Parliament. And that left them with just 272 of the um, MPs that had to vote on the day. Now, if you take a look at how the voting went, even for some of the personalities that were supposed to be voted for. So we're told that Honorable K.T. Hammond, um, he scored 154 votes. So people who voted for him were 154. Mind you, N MPP had only 136. And so that means that there were almost about 20 who voted in excess for him from the NDC. Who are those people? 116 of them voted no, and there was one person who abstained from the votes. Question is, who are those who voted for um, Honorable Kobna Tahir Hammond, MP for Dancing, Minister Designate for Trade and Industry? Let's take a look at the others and how the voting went for them. Okay, so very popular man, Stephen Amwa. Remember Sika. when <laughs> when the minority Our leader friend Sika. asked him if he was Sika, willing. congratulations I know, on right? being passed. Yeah. Today too is your birthday. Oh, it's his birthday today. Oh, Harriet, what are you saying? Next week. Oh, okay, next week. Yesterday. Last, Last week. Ah, uh, hey, so Billy said happy birthday. I remember we posted him on, yeah, we okay, did. Let's, so, let's I say, mean. They say George says it's today. George Queenie. Oh, it's today. It's today, okay. Okay. Stika, congratulations. Way, you happy passed. Happy birthday. I know, right? Huh? He had one with 47. <laughs> Unbelievable. And Stika. 122 said no. Three of them abstained from it. And I'll never forget when he was being vetted and he was asked, are you willing uh, to sacrifice your salary? Um, just so that we can also protect the public person. He says, you're the minority leader. If all of you are willing to sacrifice yours, <laughs> I am willing to sacrifice mine as well. Now, also, Honorable Stephen Asamoah. Very Duarte. experienced politician. Yes, 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 definitely. I'm uh, former minister of communication at one point, right? Uh, information. Information, okay. Mm. So he is the minister designate for chieftaincy and religious affairs. He got 147 yeses and 122 noes, and three mm. people abstained from voting. Then, Honorable Oseb, Bonsu, oh, Amwa, MP, Ikeapim South, fan. yes. Obi Minister Amwa. of State, yes. Very calm member local of Local government designates. Very calm, eh? He's you don't hear much. Man. You don't hear much from him. He speaks once in a while. Well, when he sees that the public opinion is not too good, mm, then he knows. Maybe. I think he's a very wise politician. I've known him for a very long time, mm. a, great, a great association yeah. with him. He's one of the few people who is, who is able to... Uh, not be afraid to confront the issues okay. and communicate well mm -hmm. and be able to tell the the voting public or the population what the issues are mm -hmm. without trying to create any difficulties for government at all. Yeah. And then um, he's not going to wipe anybody's mess. So he's, oh, he won't do that. You know, he doesn't do that. So I, I think Obi um does he deserve to be... Um, a minister of state for the position for which he's been nominated, yes. He's an experienced politician, so um, that goes for him as well. Good for but him, then. it's not about him. Yeah, it's yes, about the, the generality of what the conversation was exactly. before the voting took place. Mm, mm. Absolutely. Let's take a look at the others um, as well. So, Brian ah, Echampo, the, the controversial I think the most one. popular one. <laughs> the most the lot, popular and, and controversial, controversial one. among the lot. And he didn't want to take any responsibility I, I my friend. for what happened. I know, right? <laughs> for what happened um, as Ayawaso West Walker. Well, uh, um, uh, minister designates for food and a Greek. And, well, he pulled 167 yeah, yeses. He's the most surprising of all. And it reminds me of <laughs> Howard Kumson. I know, I know, right? <laughs> the, the one that we thought wasn't going to get the votes got the highest, right? Mm. Um, but there are a lot of people who are asking questions. The moment he said that, but Fifi, you are my friend, people are asking that, could it be that yeah, Fifi, oh, sorry, Atu, pardon me, Atu Ay, may Atu. have voted for him because they are friends. <laughs> you never know. 
you never know. But anyway, he got four people who rejected um, his bid or his uh, nomination to become minister designate for food and a Greek. I think there's one more. I mean, Adam also. Isn't yes, there? yes. Okay. Um, mm. That's I mean. Can we get that's yes? Um, there's Doctor, a mean. Doctor I mean. Doctor I mean Adams. And, um, um, he used, pulled, used to be with ASAP yeah. uh, before um, now getting into government mm. um, with none other than Danque Kufado. Oh, okay. But but the reality, if you take a look at, is that from the standpoint of the majority, mm -hmm. they seem. Um, somehow to have gotten a certain rapport with their minority side mm. or persuade them to vote for the executive's nominees. Yeah. So if I was a political communicator, I would say that the majority side had a better persuasive power. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If you are on the minority side and you're communicating, then you say that our people let us down. Mm -hmm. So we have to look at it from two sides of the coin. But it also shows that um, we have a parliament that could at the same time rubber stamp, but mm -hmm. at the same time also do lobbying. Yeah. So if you lobby well, then you will get your policies through. Hmm. Do, do, How do, are you lobbying well? Are you paying bribe? Are you well, convincing them? Nobody, nobody has come to us. Yeah, or nobody has that. brought conclusive evidence. evidence. Apart from what Richard Hagen said. Mm -hmm. uh, I, will, I will take his communication as speculative. Okay. Because nobody has come to the public domain to say that the ma majority side did bribe some members of parliament on the minority side, so to mm. speak. Mm. I will say... No matter the circumstances and how we want to interpret this, is an action that seemed to either tell the, the minority side that we don't like the new leadership, mm. or the majority side were able to persuade some members of the minority, minority. side to vote for the nominees of the executive. My difficulty only is there was big public conversation leading to them appearing before the appointment committee. Mm -hmm. That gave the Ghanaian public a certain perception that the minority had created a position or a stance. Mm -hmm. That culminated in a press conference led by the minority leader, that the position of the minority in parliament, mm -hmm. that also was backed by a party communication or notice that en bloc, they were not because of their position of not bloating the government mm -hmm. pairs yeah. or increasing the wage or the size of government going to vote for them. On that position, I think that something went wrong. Hmm. I think that the minority, they failed their own party. They failed the generality of the Ghanaian public who seemed to think that government was spending too much or yeah. the size of government was yeah. big. But if you were a supporter of... Um, the MPP or government, etc. You say that we told you after all. Hmm. It also means a lot in my analysis or observation that we're just how many months to the next general election? Hmm. It's less than two years. Yes, it's really actually um, one year, nine months, so to speak. Hmm. After we cross next week or this week, we're one year, eight months eight into months. the next election. Does it mean that? If the MPP sh should do a transition to a next MPP government, should we be surprised? I won't be surprised won't at be. all. I won't be, from the way things are looking. I do you understand? Be. Yeah, I won't be. Now, there are people who somehow are in the middle. They seem to think that maybe the government hasn't managed the economy too well over the last three years, etc. And so I may not put my votes here or there. Is it possible... Mm -hmm. that people will think that the NDC is not the alternative. Exactly. And so if the NDC is not the alternative, why do I waste my time to give them votes when they would also just be like what the MPP yeah. is today? So exactly. why do I, they, what do they say? They say the, 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 the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. Or exactly. something, some, some but at way. this point, I mean, which of them becomes the devil and which one becomes the angel anyway? Because right. we've tried both and clearly so, it hasn't so, been so, the best. Hmm. It hasn't been the best. So if we have two devils, you know, you have to choose the devil that you know, mm. and then you 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 keep the devil that you don't know. But but I think that um, um, a lot 
a lot of a lot of convincing needs to be done yeah. by the NDC to convince voters prior to the 2024 general elections that they are the alternative. And I think worse for them is that their lead uh, former flag bearer or the lead candidate for their presidential primaries, the former president, is on a tour. Yeah. And this has been done. So I don't know what he's going to communicate to the people. So no, he's already disappointed. Well, so, I mean, beyond that, they say they're going to identify and honor the MPs who voted against them. I'm sorry, but if I, it's it was a secret ballot. How are you going to know that I voted for or against the cost? If I come and tell you as my leader that I voted for the cause, how do you then verify? Because I don't think there's any other way by which they can verify who voted who. Um, you know, whether oh, I did they say they were going to investigate? Well, they said, yeah, I've course. read that. How are no, they, they going to do that? Them as well. I mean, I guess that's what we are seeing with some names being mentioned as mm. those who voted for the cause. But I kept looking at that list and wondering, right. what if I come and tell you what you want to hear? Then All right. really, what happens? I think that you know? um, we would want to open the phone lines. Yeah. We'll put the numbers of the phone lines on the screen very soon. Um, Johnny is a bit under the weather, so we're not going to have Johnny's bite. In place of that, please uh, um, talk to us, open the phone lines. But let's hear from Rashid Draman. Mm -hmm. He's executive director for the Africa Center for Parliamentary Affairs. Rashid Draman next. Well, I mean, on the face of it, I thought that um, uh, maybe they were able to mobilize their troops and then have done their homework very well. Uh, apply the lessons that have been learned from uh, their failure during the first batch of ministerial nominees during under the old, uh, old leadership of the minority caucus. But it looks like uh, that has not been the case. Uh, Alfred, what is interesting about these developments are uh, that, number one, uh, as I was I mean, saying to uh, another um, network earlier this evening before the vote, I was saying that we might see uh, a surprise similar to what produced the current speaker, that some people from uh, the minority side joining the ranks of the majority uh, because it's secret ballot. Uh, number two, I think the interesting thing again uh, in this is that uh, contrary to what many are saying that the hung parliament is uh, is I mean creating a lot of inefficiencies and so on uh, for me I I see over oversight really at work that we can see cross partisan kind of uh, 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 consensus when it comes to critical matters that concern our states. Now, let, let's take some calls and hear from you what you make of this situation. I have my first call on the line. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Bella. Thank you so much for joining us. Can I get your name quickly? Bella, my name is Gao Sukole from Ashaiman. Okay. What do you have to say about the way the votes went? First, I really have to tell you the truth, Bella. Mm. Uh, uh, I like your program, and I always watch it before going out. We are going to tell my brother Roland. Thank you. Roland knows me very well. Thank you. We are very much dis uh, disappointed in our MP. Why? Especially they, 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 they claim they love your mama. That is their claim, like they love your mama. Mm. And even some of them decided to, uh, to come and create a campaign thing for your mama. Mm. And you go and vote against party's decision. But like this said, uh, but, but let's claim, oh, mm -hmm. the claim they love your mama. But let's remember that they don't have a party flag bearer at the moment. So it's not just about former President John Ramani Mahama. There's also but they are campaigning. They are campaigning for your mama. Mm. Our MPs have decided to come and deceive we the grassroots. Our MPs have decided to come and deceive we the grassroots that they are your mama's campaigning in some of the world. Even in Ashaman, mm. our our MP and there's no decided to come and tell we the grassroots. That is the campaign manager of your mama in Ashima. But what has that got to do with... Because we can't tell which side he was on at this point our, our, and who our, he voted for. Our national for. and region executives are campaigning for your mama. Yeah, but... That's but, where I'm coming from. Okay, okay. You, 
Because this is not about former President John Ramahani Mahama. We're asking about the votes and how they went in Parliament. And like I said, there's no, pla there's no party flag bearer at the moment. So it's not about the former president. I am trying to let you understand something. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they are claiming that mm -hmm. is what they are doing. And all of them are campaigning for one flag bearer. Not all of them. Which there are some who are on another all side. All our executive uh, from the national and okay. the region okay. and our MP. Okay. Didn't you see the, the, uh, the campaign launch of your mama? Didn't you see them there? Okay. All right. So you are disappointed. They are that one to deceive us. And at the same time, Bella, do you know how much you love uh, the party? I mm. waste my time and my everything based on this uh, 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 NDC party. And you go to parliament and go and uh, betray us like this. Is this fair, Bella? So what are you going to do at this point? That is the decision to make by the grassroots members. Have you made that decision yet? Yes, I've made the decision to vote against my MP. You're going to vote against your MPs? Yes, Bella. But you don't know which of them voted for or against. So how are you going to and vote? I know, I, I know some of my MPs and both former leadership of the parliament. Okay. All right. I know some of my, uh, my MPs uh, currently support the change of the leadership in the parliament. Okay. So that's right. why I'm going to vote against my, my member you. of parliament, which All is right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. You can also call in as well and let us know how grieved you are about um, the votes and how they when the numbers are on your screen. Please do call us. And if you're looking forward to Johnny's Bites, like Roland mentioned earlier, Johnny's under the weather and would not be able to come your way with Johnny's Bites. And so we're filling this time slot with your calls. Let's hear from you. Let's hear your bite. Um, and today we're talking about the MPs and how the votes went in approving some of the ministers that were appointed. Um, so do we have another call on the line? Not yet. Maybe if we don't, we can even listen to Quick Ricketts Hagan and the explanation that he gave on key points on Saturday morning, admitting that indeed some of the MPs actually disappointed. But I think we have a caller now. Hello, Hello. good morning. Good morning. This Thank is Malay calling from Yindi. Thank you so much for calling. So what do you say Hello. about the situation? Uh, it's, a, it's, a good, uh, it's a good event for we, the MPP members. Okay. <laughs> In the sense that... Uh, we have been saying that NDC is not united for a very long time. Mm. And people seem not to get it. But this is an expectation that the center cannot hold. They themselves don't like game. So it's a lesson for Ghanaians to retain the NPP in power come 2024. But, but so that the good things that the NPP is doing, it will manifest for all to see. But as an MPP member, to be very honest, do you think that we needed to even appoint new ministers at this point, especially when there have been calls for us to cut down on our public expenditure? You see, when you analyze it, we are, uh, majority of the MPs, uh, majority of the ministers are MPs. Mm -hmm. So invariably, they are already on the payroll of the legislature. Is that not it? Yes. So appointing the same person as a minister doesn't more or less increase the burden on the... It actually does. The, what you earn as a minister the, is different from what you earn as an MP. There are some perks that ministers get that MPs don't get. I mean, MPs so, have so, to buy so, their own fuel. There's a loan for them to get cars, and they have to pay in bits. Ministers have a different agreement when it comes to the appointment as well. Yes, Bella, but look at this analysis. You see, picking somebody who is not a member of parliament, I get in it, as a minister, the opportunity that he or she will get is not all the amount that the state is going to pay. It's not the same as the MP. Oh, okay. you don't agree with me. Okay. Don't, don't you agree with the analysis? No, I don't. So going but by that, on. I mm. get in it. If you have chance of our MPs be a minister, it's indirectly reducing the cost there or the expenditure okay. on the executive. All right. Point made. Thank, Point you. Made. Thank you. Like somebody who has majority of his, let's assume, although the constitution says that it should be two thirds, but let's assume that somebody is ours more than two thirds, and somebody is sitting to two thirds. Don't you think ours, the expenditure is less? So okay. looking at it, it's not less, but let's look at the work that they are doing. I get it. And secondly, the constitution mandates the president. There's no any, uh, how to call it? Any limitation as to the number that a, a, a president can appoint as a minister. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for calling us. Uh, we're giving the way for some other people to call as well. 
Let us know what you think. The numbers are on your screen, 0302-973-198. Call us and tell us what you think about the situation. Clearly, the grassroots, well, we're hearing from just one person, but could that be Someone. a reflection of what the grassroots of the NDC think? Samuel is on the line. Hello, good morning. Hello, Samuel. Samuel. Samuel, you have to reduce the volume on your TV set. That's giving us a delayed Good feedback. Good morning. Okay, no, we have to pick another caller. Sorry about that, Samuel. But please, when you call, reduce the volume on your TV set so you can hear us directly through the phone. Um, the numbers are on your screen. Let us know what you yeah. think. Yeah, let's know Bella, what you, you think. Bella, you look like one of the MPs. So. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. female MPs. So. <laughs> which, which side? <laughs> Independent candidates. <laughs> well, At this point, I'm not sure if it's even a good idea to belong to either side. <laughs> In Parliament. But you know you were saying that, of course, when you're giving the scenarios, you're talking about the fact that it could also Hello. be... Oh, we have a caller. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for calling us. What's your name, sir? My name is Papa. Papa, you're welcome. What Papa, about Nassi? Papa, yeah. Papa. You know... Talk to us. I, I am an NDC guy. Okay. A very popular one, indeed. I chose NDC as a vehicle for me to promote a mm. proper governance for my country, mm. Ghana. Mm. So I come from a CDP background, right? Okay. And realizing that some of the CDP members are dining with the MPP, I decided to come to NDC. Okay. Are you with me? Yes, I'm listening. Use it as a vehicle to promote something that will benefit the nation. In fact, this is the third time I got disappointed in the NDC. The first time me, I was fired. In fact, I campaigned against the corrupt activities that happened on the Kufort regime. Mm. And followed the NDC because we said, when we come to power, we we'll do what? We'll do corrupt NBC officials, right? Yeah. We came to power. The left is the most decided to do what? To say father for all. Align the corrupt MPP officials to go scot-free. Mm. In fact, I got angry, and in fact, some of our goals in the NDC, they got angry with me as well. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That, look, this thing cannot help us to win other elections. You understand what I'm saying? The place is in elections. Oh, we may say we want 2012 election. You may say that. Mm. We want it because of, you know, the, the, the what do you call it? How, uh, uh, the, what do you call it? Your mama was that nice and things like that. Even the world trying to say. Okay. But at the end of it, people are still saying that, how come that we promise Ghanaian that will jail up every official, but we never do? So we're punished for it in 2016 election. Mm. I get to my point. Mm. Now, that's one that my, 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 some of my MPs have done. You understand? Mm. They didn't think deep. They didn't think deep. I get to my point. Okay. About the, the, what to, the, the national interest, like I was saying on that, uh, what's the, uh, President Knox. I get to my point. Okay. This one, we should have thought about it, some of the MPs. And some of them, you know, you don't, you don't think that they you don't think that they thought about it and probably they are not happy with how their leaders in parliament when were yanked out of office and replaced with new ones which is probably why yes, uh, they are repaying one thing can be a, a, a contributing factor similarly to as the chairmanship race to mm. the chairmanship race yeah in the, the chairmanship race in the NDC whereby uh, the other man was uh, was let down. I get mm -hmm. to my point. Mm -hmm. You understand? There are some skirmishes like that. I get to my point. Okay. But all said and done, I'm trying to say that, look, we need to look at the larger interest. That's the nation's interest. I get to my point. Mm. We want these people to be kicked out of power. Hey. And we need to show to Daniel that really we are ready for it. What are I'm your happy. chances? What are your chances at this point looking at how things have played out in Parliament. Do you think that oh, the NDC stands am, a greater chance am, of winning the 2024 elections? Oh, we will, we will, we will surely win 2024 elections. With this you attitude? Know uh -huh. You know why? It's not going to be based on only the NDC, you know, uh, this time around, campaigning against corrupt NDP government. I get my point. Okay. Yes. 
Well, we've lost him, All right. unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. We've so, uh, but I, I, I think that you, you get to find that the NDC grassroots people and happy. supporters are not happy. Not uh, happy. I have this one from um, uh, Bonti Benjamin. Bonti Benjamin uh, tell, saying that the party interests should not take precedence over the larger national interests. And I, I believe that he means that the national interest is what the president wants to push and uh, how he decides to govern, etc. Mm. So Bonti Benjamin with that uh, position there. Uh, we, we have Isa from Borga. Good morning to you, Isa. Yeah, this is Isa from Bole. Bole. Yes. Uh, please, I want to greet Bella. Okay. Good morning, Please, Bella. Isa. Bella is waiting I'm for you. I'm receiving your greetings. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I think if NDC is not careful, some of us will stop voting. Why we do you say that? We cannot sacrifice ourselves and go and queue. At the end of the day, a member of parliament, they will sell our vote and take money and do what they did. I think uh, if we are defending, we should vote them out during this common premise. Hey. Some of them, they are not competent. Okay. But if you want to talk, they will say you are targeting a particular person. Mm. We were, you are not competent. We need a competent leaders. We need a competent member of parliament to represent us. Okay. I think what they are doing in parliament, I think it is not the best. Mm. They, are, they are using it to do their business. Okay. To get their money. I think they are selling the party. They are telling the party at the end of the day, President Mahama, he should wake up okay. and look for a competent, a competent people to, to, I mean, to, 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 to go into parliament. It's not but, but it's not, it, what, but that's not the job of former President Mahama to determine who goes into uh, parliament my, at one point or the my, other. My, my sister, if you know a competent person, okay, and all right. you, he can represent and the fellow, the fellow is having integrity, you can invite the person okay. go to this seat and contest. All right. Not everybody can just get up. Oh, I want to go to Parliament without integrity, without you know trust. You know we cannot, we can't trust them. All right. Great, we can't trust them. They are not competent. Okay. All right. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you for speaking to us. I mean, uh, valid points. But how do you test the integrity of anybody um, before they go into Parliament, unless they have a track record? But even that, sometimes mm. people fall off along the way. Yeah. So how can you really determine? It's a very difficult thing to do. I know, right? uh, it's only when they get in there that you can really tell who is who, yeah. you know. But, well, let's see how it goes. Yeah. So, now, uh, let's hear from uh, Kukuri Hagen, that member of parliament who was on um, Key Points on Saturday and had some scathing words for his colleagues. It's a group or a small group who were not happy with events and that... They are out there basically sabotage. Looks as if, let's say, supporters or people who were sympathetic to what happened. So it was a clear undermining of honorable act of force and money as quick as they can. So what you're saying is that some NDC MPs were bribed. They took money. Absolutely. They no doubt. Uh, Mr. Mike Kofia Flo, good morning to you. They said um, Bella and Roland have started an agenda this morning. And oh. the MPP will be calling in as NDC callers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What Charlie, agenda? Why are we discussing what we're going to do? We're this well. job. Eh? <laughs> when you do it, they say you're NDC. When you do it, they say you're MPP. Okay, good morning. <laughs> I'm voting out my MP. I don't trust him again. I wish the NDC will reopen a nomination for the primaries. This is Lawrence from Ho. Oh. But why is why? Don't is trust he going unopposed? Hey. I think I need to find out. <laughs> and this one is from um, Tina um, Trubu Constituency. So take it easy on the NDC. Okay, mm. we've heard you. But I think the Trouble MP was one of the people who was mentioned, though. Hold on, yeah. let me check. <laughs> I mean, by Honorable... Fee okay, so I'm well, going I'm to... Sure. I'm going to... I'm not uh, sure so we'll end, we'll end by going to Honorable Fifi Kutis. Um, people have been screen, his list. Sc sc screenshotting, <laughs> screen, screenshotting his, his WhatsApp Even status. Me, honestly, I was screenshotting Thank you, Honorable NS Nogbe, MP for Ashama, <laughs> for not betraying the cause. Thank you, Honorable... Uh, Gisela 
Tete Agbotui. Tete MP mm. for Awutu Senya for not betraying the cause. I love the phrase. Oh. oh. Proud of you, Honorable Betty Nana Ifua Crosby Mensa, MP for Afram Plains, mm. for not betraying the cause. There's a Bolly Van Boy MP here who was also mentioned for not betraying the cause. So earlier, Xavier Issa Sosu for not betraying the cause. It looks like your MP did not betray the Thomas cause. Thomas Nyaku Ampim for not betraying the cause. We have Woyome for not betraying the cause. ABF Husseini. ABF Husseini for not betraying the cause. <laughs> Bismarck Tete Nyako for not betraying the cause. Uh, these are uh, the, the screenshot of uh, the post on the status of the General Secretary, um, General Secretary of the MPP. You see, if Suleiman, you have that one too. Yes, I have that Bolly one. Bolly Bamboy for yes, not betraying yes, the yes, cause. Yes. So the caller from Bolly Bamboy, relax. No, I work calculating. We'll see. So whoever's <laughs> name is not mentioned by the time we get to and the number that's needed, we'll know that you didn't vote. Um, for no, not betraying for the, the cause. cause. <laughs> well, we're not betraying our cause this morning. And it's to give you great content. We're talking about TV3 New Day. Make sure you get interactive. Always add the hashtag TV3 New Day. And go look for us. We're talking about Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. TV3 Ghana is always available. We have Kofi Tontoi, communicates for the governing MPP as well as the government of Nanado Danko Kufado. He will be joined by Edu Jitama Klo. Edu Jitamaklu is a legal practitioner, also a member of the NDC's legal team. We'll have some great conversations right up after this break. Good morning to you, Lydia Nyaba. You are with the National, the Ghana National Association of Teachers, Apra Dintra office. Roland, you are betraying the cause. Which cause? <laughs> <laughs> We're taking a break. We'll be right back. Not betraying the cause. <laughs>